So Yay. top five influences just in general, it could be within any industry, any job, but people that influence you or just or, or meant something that, to you that kind of helped, you know, become the story of Maya that you are today. Hmm. And it doesn't have to be in order. My friend Tana Rowe, she's a singer. Okay. And she has a beautiful big afro and she like has this very sexual, powerful energy. Marla Negra, um, she was one of my inspirations for going natural with my hair, okay. um, which is when I noticed the power in w w women wearing it because sometimes as a woman, when you want to have a new look or you want to try a look on yourself, you'd like to see other representations of what it could look like on you or how it looks in general. And so those were examples to me that it could be sexy. Obviously the beautiful Pam Greer, um, she was also a example to me visually as far as having this image of black sexual powerful energy and that's something that's important to me is to show this powerful black female energy. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm thinking. So don't. Sorry. Uh, let's see. So I'm inspired by a lot of people. I, I make my own way because I don't want to ever copy people. It's like musically, I'm kind of in my own world. I don't really take from anybody musically because I don't want to like copy anyone you know because there's like this thin line where inspiration becomes copying and a lot of people copy me and I don't necessarily care too much but because I'm just like whatever but I don't want to be that person I don't want to like copy people you know so I try my best ability not to uh inspiration inspiration God, I can feel like I'm on a timer. This shit's stressful. Um, it's not the hot seat. <laughs> no, it's just like it's like when you get asked sometimes questions off the spot. Yeah. It's like, um, Two Live Crew is a big musical inspiration for me. Okay. Um, another musical inspiration is Big Frida because of the high energy yeah. and you know the repetition and something I like. Um, I like Doja Cat as far as musical inspiration because it's that blending of hip hop and pop that I like to do with the quirky beats and stuff. And I'm trying to bore you. <laughs> um, you actually named six people so far. Oh, I did. Okay, well, then we can move on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> so what, last, um, the last top five, so since you were talking about um hood movies and everything so much top five hood movies that you like like what are some of your favorite hood movies no a lot of them aren't even hood movies I, I i just call them i call them that but they're really just black movies made for black yeah. people yeah um because <laughs> i'm like black hood movies because like hood movies are typically negative not, not i don't know well i mean i i, I, well, I, I I'm kind of like like if you like look up hood movies you're gonna find okay. shit like people are getting shot in the face I don't make that. But, but I know what genre you're talking about. So in that genre that you were talking about, top five of those movies. So yeah, you like you got Fat Beach, you got like Friday, you got like Boomerang, you got Booty Call. Good one. Um, yeah, that's my type of style of directing. Like I, like I, I make stuff like that, like where black people are like, ha ha ha, you know what I mean? And white folks are like, I don't get it. Like that's what I'm gonna make. I don't wanna make stuff where it's like, did you know? that the first black guy to be, like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Like, the hell, thanks, school. Um, hey, one more. <laughs> and my favorite movie is Coming to America, the original. Okay. But uh, that to me is a black movie for black people. Um, yeah. Sorry, somebody keep freaking calling my phone. It's driving me crazy. So no problem. Okay, so the last segment that we normally do is like a recommendation. It could be either something that you're watching, you're reading, you're listening to, but something that you think our listeners should check out. Shark bitch. <laughs> All right, man, we can go with that. We can definitely go with that. So we're um I don't like most things on TV right now. I know I sound like a fucking nigga Nancy, but like I I like mostly watch old stuff. Right now I'm watching 
every episode of the Cosby Show. Again, um, I watch a lot of stuff that's older. Like I like Moesha, I like the Parkers because that was back when they made black shows for black people. Here's the thing. It so doesn't, it I doesn't have to be current. It's not the uh, same. Yeah, it doesn't have to be current. So you can give something that, yeah. that you think. Well, that yeah, like the, my favorite shows, Parker's Girlfriends. Like I love old shows like Good Times. I like um, Sanford and Son. I watched it like over and over again. Um, I like 227. Mm -hmm. I like black stuff that's made for black people. That's why I said as a director, I started wanting to do what I miss. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of, like I said, a lot of the black stuff, it's like all about black trauma. It's all like, Black Man It's a Horror, which I think is amazing and a great idea, and I commend, amazing. But I don't want to make it because it's already so much of it. You know, I don't want to watch it because it puts me in a bad mood. I like that refreshing, I get to see some Black people on TV, and it's funny, and it feels good, and it's silly. You know, Dave Chappelle shows like my favorite. Um, anything with Dave Chappelle is amazing to me. He's like my favorite comedian, period. Anything with Cat Williams. I love like the little pimp character. See what I'm saying? We miss that because now we're like, we can't put a Cat Williams in a movie because it's a pimp stereotype. Like, like we're so scared of like doing shit that makes us laugh with these characters that we grow up with that we see because we're like, oh my God, we have to be progressive. And it's like, the fact that you think it's progressive to go into a world where we're catering to a group of people who are already catered to and no longer catering to ourselves is the part that's hilarious to me. Cause you think you're being like progressive. Um, so I miss that kind of stuff. There's like not that much stuff to really name. Like Freshman's of Belair was fire. It was kind of made for everybody, but it was still dope to just see regular black people just being funny without it being traumatic. Once again, a couple of episodes about some real life shit like, but in general, it's just refreshing to see black people on TV and it just be like, Ha 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 ha. So that I watch a lot of Def Comedy Jam from back in the day. So a lot of my inspiration is old school. I like 90s stuff, obviously. Right. And I'm an old soul. And I'm kind of tired of rewatching the same shit. So that's why I need to start making some shit because right. everyone else is too busy trying to be woke. Don't make like it's not no. Okay. I gotta be ignorant. <laughs> All right. So tell where, where, you gotta can, be ignorant. <laughs> where can my people find you at? Tell, where can they find you at? 